Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to create an Android project in Android Studio and then commit and push that project to the GitLab server. So let's get started. First of all, you have to create a project on gitlab.com. I have shown this in another video. You, uh, the link for this video is given in the description. Kindly refer that. Then first go to your project. The name of my project is Life Support to You, and the SSH URL is mentioned here. This I will use in my. Uh, this will be useful to me later. Uh, I have shown this how to add an SSH key to the project in my another video. Link for that video is also given in the description. So first you have to create an android project version of my android studio is version 3.0 it is the latest version of the android write the same name to the project that you have given on gitlab and click next next select an empty activity you can send another activity to you this does not make any issue just give a name to an activity i will give the name to the activity as find location and click finish now the project will be created just wait, wait for few minutes so the prerequisite required for this uh, gitlab integration is that you should install git for windows 2.15 which is the latest version of git for windows on your windows machine i have uh, included the link of the dot exe file of that git for windows installer in the description uh, this is the file which you have to download just click on this and uh, install that file we will need in our later in this video we will just integrate uh, with the gitlab and make a repository of this android project on the gitlab server i will just fast forward this They are all set up. The Android Studio has created the project for us. Now just go to the file and click on settings option. Just go to the version control. Select the git, op git option. Then uh, we have to select here, uh, which I have already selected, but I will show you how to, how to select that. Remember, I told you that we have to install Git for Windows. So just go to that directory uh, it may be in the c for c drive program files i have installed it as it has x86 version just go to the git folder then uh, sometimes we make a mistake that uh, we select the git cmd.exe just in the git folder but we should not do that we should go to the cmd drive then select the git.exe and press ok uh, i have as i told that i have already done this so here is no apply option you should click apply and then click ok then thus you have added git for windows for android studio now just go to vcs then enable click on the enable version control integration this will activate the git for windows in this project for this project then select git and click ok see uh, here comes the message that create a git repository in this this directory it is now showing that find location is turned to red color which was previously black in color like normally like this because we have not integrated or not uh, pushed these files to the server so now, now just click on the app and select this vcs up arrow green arrow button this is just to commit and push on the gitlab these are all the unversioned files that we have not committed 
and pushed on the server so if you are doing for the first time and no other teammate has uh, pushed or committed to the GitLab website then just select this first checkbox it will all select all the files in the project write a commit message for example I will write as it is my first commit so I will write first commit and just commit here now this will add the add all these files to the VCS VCS is just a step before we push the files to the GitLab server it will it is checking that whether the code is uh, code does not have any error or not if there is an error found it will not commit to the GitLab server so don't write the wrong code before committing to the GitLab so guys as I told you that the code should shouldn't have any errors or warnings so we have to just review this if this message is shown to, shown to you I suggest that not to add this vcs.xml file we can add it later manually as they say so we should press no button now go to the version control these are all the files which are ready for getting committed to the GitLab server after this just go to the app and select the this PCS green up arrow button then see that all the files are ready for getting committed so just click on this so click on this app 25 files press here commit and push this is just a warning add to warning is found we thought that there will be an error but there was no such great error so just click on to uh, commit I told that I will tell about this SSH we have to just copy the URL to clipboard then come back to Android studio select this defined remote we have to just paste that SSH URL so just click OK don't do this without creating an SSH key for the for your GitLab profile it is like a password for your computer to the GitLab account now see it has added the remote now we have to just click on first commit and simply click push now this is pushing the files to the GitLab server like uploading any file on Google Drive so you can see the message that push was successful so just refresh so here comes the magic of GitLab all our files are posted on the GitLab just browse to the SRC name we'll make few changes here and see whether that affects so let's edit this file let's add few comments they are just committed code and just write a message bugs fixed yeah select commit changes so let's see whether it can it can be viewed in our file location on java that is in our android studio update project let the defaults be there only and please ok so let's see whether the comment is coming here or not and see the magic happened here the change comes hey i just committed the code vcs update finish and one file update if someone make changes in the gitlab file from the another android studio and if you update here then also the second will come here so we have successfully completed the gitlab integration with the android studio that's all for this video hope this video will help you so guys bye alvida take care in a video stay stay